Hi everyone, just a quick video on oil filters, um, different types, how they filter the oil and what happens when they get blocked. So there's two major types of oil filter. This is a slightly older version, which is the canister type. And then we've got the uh, paper element type here, which is on more modern vehicles. So I'll just go through them both in turn, how they work and how they do the job. First of all, the, the canister one then. So the canister one uh, was used a lot in the 90s, early noughties. Uh, I think it might be still be used on some vehicles, but generally speaking, it's been replaced. So this one here is a cutaway of a canister type so we can see what's happening inside it. So uh, oil would flow through these uh, little openings here, these little holes, and it would come down the outside of the can uh, canister here, and then it gets forced through the paper element, and then it leaves the oil filter out of the center Obviously, before this point, it comes up through the from the sump, up through the pickup pipe, through the pump, and then onto the filter. So the oil then leaves that way to go to the oil galleries and move uh, lubricate all your moving parts, such as your camshaft and your crankshaft and so on. So that's how it would normally work. Obviously, filters do get blocked. So what would happen in the event of the filter blocking is oil would come down here. It would obviously get stuck here because the filter's blocked. And then on most of them, it's not on this particular cutaway, but hopefully you can see inside there, there's a plastic uh, section there. And that is what's called a bypass valve. So the bypass valve is there in case the filter gets blocked and you don't maintain your vehicle. Obviously unfiltered oil is better than no oil at all. So if I take this one again, the oil would come down here. It would get stuck here because it's no longer able to go through the filter because it's blocked. What it would do, pressure would build up in the bottom like you saw there and it pushes a relief valve up when the pressure gets to a certain amount. The spring will be forced back with the plate on it and it'll allow oil straight back out. So it will come in down the side of the filter and then up through the center, completely unfiltered. The only problem with that particular design is that obviously the oil is still going down the side of a dirty filter. Um, so it's picking up little bits of dirt, dust, uh, anything that the oil's picked up over time in terms of metal filings or shavings and then it's obviously dragging it off the filter and back up through. So modern filters would have a bypass valve up here, but the pressure builds down the side here, and then the pressure gets to a certain point. Again, the spring is forced back and the oil's allowed to come in through the holes here, through the top, sits there, pressure builds, and it comes straight back out. That just avoids it going all the way down this paper element here and picking up little bits of uh, dirt that the filter has previously collected. So. Uh, obviously with these ones you've got an oil seal if you do replace an oil filter make sure you take the seal out use a bit of old engine oil just to lubricate it before you screw it back onto the side of the engine to make sure it sucks itself to the engine block and, and, and goes tight so that's the the filter type uh, the canister type sorry the paper element type is this one here obviously it comes with its own oil seal so to do away with all these bits that need recycling or putting in general waste uh, we've got this type so this is off a of Vauxhall engine um so obviously, yeah, this is the, the unit and then you've got the lid here. So all we do is unscrew it. And what you'll find inside here, if it release, is an old oil filter. So this filter is obviously well used, it's clogged up. Um, so when you get your new one, it's just a paper element with an oil seal, as you can see here. And the oil seal sits here. So what you do is replace that when you replace the filter. The filter's locked into the cap. Hopefully I can pull that apart. There we go, it's quite tight. Uh, so it just sits in there and that's the only bit you'd be replacing. So within there, it's exactly the same system really. What we've got at the bottom of the housing is that's the where the oil comes up from. So when the oil pressure builds up, it comes up from the pump, it's sent up this channel to the outside of the casing where it would sit on the outside of the filter and then it would pass through the filter. And again, back out of the center here, hopefully you can see, uh, out of this port here. Obviously again, when the filter gets blocked, the uh, oil will be stuck on the outside of the filter. It will build up pressure in the top of the cap as previously seen with this one. And that's your pressure relief valve there. So that would that would push open or push down, should I say, under a certain amount of tension and allow unfiltered oil to come up the side of the casing, round the top of the filter uh, paper element, and then push against that and release and allow oil to continue around the journey, the journey around the engine unfiltered. So that's your canister type. That's your paper element type. And hopefully you've got a little bit of an idea of how the bypass valve works and how unfiltered oil will still be allowed to go around the engine uh, if the... Uh, filter's not changed in line with the manufacturer's recommendations. Hope that makes sense and see you on the next one.